So in this case, we use this exist query. So how it works, exist basically takes a subquery and is going to evaluate that subquery. So basically if the subquery returns at least one row, exist is going to evaluate to true. Now, in our case, we used it uh, in the where clause. So every time the condition evaluates to true, that's going to include the record in the final result set. So that's why I said that it's doing filtering. If no records is being returned, like in our previous case, if one student in the outer query didn't have any grade of 10, that student would be filtered out. It would not be included in the final result set. So that's basically how exists works. Now here you can return anything you want because exist checks the presence of a record in a query result set. It doesn't matter what you have there. It can be a scalar value, like a constant value, like select one. It could be select ID or whatever you want. It doesn't make uh, uh, any difference there. So for instance, if you want to get all the students that receive a grade of 10, but in the class of math, you can add here any condition you want. You can make it as complex uh, as possible. And this one is always going to do a semi-join. The database always takes uh, the approach of minimizing the resources that it needs to execute a, a certain query. And uh, that's why it uses that semi-join. It doesn't mean that for every student is going to do a for each loop, iterating every student grade and do the filtering. Because the database is smart and knows what you want and it can provide you, it can provide you that using um, an algorithm that minimizes the number of resources that are needed in order to give you the same uh, outcome. All right, so in this case, how does this work? Assuming that we have these two students, if these are uh, Alice's uh, grades here, and you can see that we find a match. So we find a grade of 10 in the class of math. Uh, this where clause is going to return true. This where clause in the subquery is going to return true, meaning that this uh, subquery is going to return one for this particular student, Alice. So Alice is going to be included because it's like select Alice from student where true. So she's going to be included in the final result set. But that's not uh, going to be the same for uh, Bob because now when going through the student grades, you are not going to see a grade of 10 in math because he only gets a grade of 10 in science. So Bob is not going to be included in the final result set. So that's basically how it works. Here you will see that there are multiple types of uh, subqueries you can use. You can use in close any, you can use all but one of the most flexible is uh, this uh, exist uh, expression. Now, there's also a not exist. So you have exist and not exist, just like you have uh, um, is null or is not null. Now, not exist, basically what it does, it's, it's the same thing. It takes a subquery and it evaluates whether records are going to be returned or not by the subquery. So it scans the result set produced by the subquery. However, unlike exists, it works uh, in the opposite di direction because if you don't return any record in the subquery, then not exist evaluates to true. Otherwise, if there is at least one record that is being returned, it evaluates to false. So this type of uh, query optimizes for the presence because you want to filter out records when you find a certain record because basically you optimize when you short circuit the execution. That's the difference between a join and a semi-join. You can stop the execution once you found, once you find a record that satisfies the condition that you are filtering. So for instance here, if you want to get the students that don't have an average grade that's lower than 9.4, you can use not exist because you can select student information. So you are only going to select from student and we're using not exist now. And because we are calculating the average, we have to use having, not the where clause. Why? The where clause, we can use it to uh, define the, the correlated subquery relationship because this record here, the student is correlated with its own grades. So we use the where clause for that. However, the where clause is executed before group by 
group by and having come afterwards. And for this reason, having provides you with a way of filtering what you calculate uh, using group by. So uh, that's what having is all about. So we want to get the average grade for this particular student and uh, we want to filter out the ones who got an average grade that was lower than 9.4. And that's how you can express it. You can express it also, usually when you're using NOT, you have to negate something, but anything that is using NOT can be expressed using EXIST. You just have to negate further the condition that uh, you are applying. So it could be where EXIST average grade greater or equal than the value that you're interested in. So in this case, we can see that uh, the average grade for Alice is 9.5, meaning that she has a grade that's higher so in this case, uh, Alice doesn't have this average grade that's uh, lower, but um, Bob um, has a lower average grade, in which case uh, he's not going to be included. 